so this is another video um today is december 31st new year's eve and i feel like crap right now uh i went on my trip back home to alabama and atlanta and came back with a cough a sore throat all of that jazz and i feel like shit <coughs> I still got a lot of coughing going on right now. Um, yeah, I'm like, my throat is like extremely irritated, but yeah, this is just an update. So hey y'all, it's day three of the new year and I am still sick, but that's okay. I'm just trying to focus on getting myself together and, and then begin working on my goals. Like I feel like most of the time, like, it's so easy to be down on yourself when you set goals, but then you can't really do it due to whatever reasons. But I'm dealing with whatever this is, and I'm going to the urgent care today because I can't continue to deal with this. <clears throat> so then I will continue to push through and make these business goals because... At the end of the day, a business have to continue to go no matter what you're going through. Same as bills. Like the bills continue to come even if you're sick, you're not sick, whatever you hear, you ain't here, they still gonna come. So at the end of the day, I have to put a plan a plan in place so that I could be prepared for whatever that may come up. So I'll catch y'all in the next video. For me, I don't like medication. I try to avoid it at all costs. <laughs> Um, during that time, it made me feel like a zombie and yeah. I started to get these outer body experiences that I didn't. So, Hey guys, this is day six of the new year and I still kind of got like this, these symptoms of coughing. I got like a lot of mucus within here, um, and within the chest, I'm assuming. Um, so I did kind of get an update and they think it's bronchitis, but my thing is, and I like to take the holistic approach. <coughs> I like to take the holistic approach when it comes to health because I don't like medication. I'm just, I don't, if I don't have to take medication, I don't take it. Um, so they think it's bronchitis, but at one point before they told me maybe I had asthma when that wasn't really the case and I was on an inhaler and everything. So that's a whole nother topic, but um I'm still getting a lot a lot of coughing and the hoarseness voice I did hear it was a lot of things that's going on I don't know maybe something going around but a lot of people been saying that they um been having like the same similar symptoms in their cough has been lasting for like four to five weeks who try to deal with a cough four or five weeks so we're gonna see but this is just an updated video this is how my new year is starting. But I have to give myself grace because not everything is going to work out in my favor. Like I wanted to at the beginning of the year, the first freaking week of the of the year. So I have to just give myself grace. You know what I mean? <coughs> and I would encourage y'all to do the same thing because it's always goals, goals, goals. We're going to burn we're going to burn ourselves out before the the middle of the new year even get here. You know what I'm saying? So Let's just show ourselves some grace because I'm I I got to at this point. So yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Okay guys, so I am currently on my way to go to a sauna bar, which is basically like an infrared sauna, which is really good for health benefits. You can look it up. Um and just to name a few, like it helps with detoxing and just clearing out toxins within your body, which in my case I have you know built up uh, mucus and stuff like that so I used to go like before we moved but it's like an hour well it's like 30 minutes from here now but an hour trip so <clears throat> I just don't see doing that but it's also $35 for each visit so that's why I'm kind of considering just getting my own at the house so I can use it every day if I feel like and ain't got to pay no extra 35 plus dollars just to you know what I'm saying go to Asana so currently on my way there now and 
yeah we'll just see how it goes so i'll catch y'all in the next video hey guys so today is january 8th and i am feeling a little bit more better than what i was um let me just say that uh, why am I zoomed in like that? Okay. So anyway, I'm feeling a little better than what I usually was feeling. So um, the only thing I say right now I'm dealing with is like the raspiness within the voice and some mucus or whatever. It's not too bad, but that's like the only annoying part right now. But I'm eating what I want. I should eat cleaner, which I am going to, but <coughs> I'm going to have my way. Oh, yeah. And I have a little cough here and there. So it's not too bad, but I'm still gonna work through it. So anyway, my birthday is on the 22nd. I freaking can't believe that. And so yesterday, just to update y'all for yesterday. So yesterday I ended up ordering my Sunna for the house, which is an infrared Sunna. If you don't know the benefits, look it up because it's worth the money. Like I think it was, so it was $4,500, which it's a it's a lot considered just a sign up but at the end of the day if it's gonna give me great benefit health benefits like that i'm all for paying whatever you know and that's just me okay y'all so i am back at the house and i just recently so i went to kroger's um and ended up getting some ranch because ranch is what i put in my um mashed potatoes I'm telling you if you don't know about that hack you better get on to it because that's gonna make it better and i'm making um it's like a butter basil pasta with chicken so i got the basil paste for that and i'm making me some hot wings this week because i really want some hot wings so i'm getting the sauce just in case my sauce don't come out right um and then i got the what is it red hot franks i'm gonna try to make a sauce with this we're gonna see if it don't turn out right I got this because I ain't got time to be fucking around, okay? Especially when I want some hot wings. So yeah, that's that. I do got my potatoes for mashed potatoes and um, making some homemade french fries this week as well. I got a few um, mangoes and I like to go to Whole Foods. I'm a Whole Foods type of girl. Um, What's crazy is that they out of eggs. Like how y'all out of eggs? Like this is a, it's an egg shortage. Why the fuck y'all out here buying eggs? Like, why? You don't need that many fucking eggs. Today is still January 8th. It is 8.24 p.m. And so, basically what I'm doing now is, on Sundays, I like to reset, you know what I'm saying, prep my business for the week. And what that means is for me to basically plan out my content for the week and kind of write down some goals of my business that I, I would like to accomplish. Um, part of that is me coming up with a marketing strategy for the year 2023. I feel like year 2022, I kind of slacked off and I was trying to, I wouldn't say take the easy route, but let me just say this if you start in a business or you actually have a business marketing is expensive okay marketing is expensive down to the photo shoots now my thing is i wanted something and to work with somebody who was already doing like um handbags like photography of handbags so she charged between like 2500 and plus so imagine me spending twenty five hundred dollars which is cool it's fine but my thing is you don't really get too many uh pictures with that and <clears throat> pictures only go so far you know what i mean so um what i'm my plan right now is to basically get just shoot with somebody that i i shot with like last year and just basically like do a photo shoot kind of every month make a mood board for my business and kind of plan that way i just feel like let me just try something different let me try something new with the marketing i don't know a whole lot about marketing but i'm a little creative i wouldn't say i'm 100 percent creative but let me just try something new and trying to you know put this mood board together so here is a little snippet of kind of what i created 
already for the mood board <clears throat> and I kind of want to do something like for for Valentine's like in business you got to be thinking ahead like I'm already trying to see for one I'm a little bit behind with getting my bags for the spring summer into production so with that you got to be thinking ahead constantly constantly and sometimes it be <laughs> begin down on me because I'd be like damn I'm behind but I have to remember I'm still a small business and I'm still learning and still working through everything so I'm not gonna have everything like I want it you know what I mean so anyway I'm um, creating like a mood board or whatever and basically that's me finding pictures of kind of how I want to shoot my bags if that makes sense so um for Valentine's Day I have something like this if you can see it so basically I want my um damn I just hit myself. I want to like the um Valentine's Day shoot to kind of look like this, but kind of like something else. And I may pick like a hotel or something to go to to shoot. I don't know. I'm still kind of thinking about it, but I'm still trying to plan for January, like this month. So like I said, I'm behind, but it is what it is. We gon' we, we gonna get it figured out. So that's kind of what I'm planning. Um <clears throat> And it's kind of a little something of how I like to plan. So over here, I have the theme months that I'm trying to plan for January through December. And also my content schedule runs through Monday through Sunday. And um, so Monday I use for motivational Tuesday testimonial or share like a, a customer test testimony basically a customer review um wednesdays i have bag of the day that's me discussing a bag or whatever um thursday throwback friday so i can kind of like talk about the journey of the business or kind of give like a business tip or something like that and then fridays kind of deal of the days or i can do another bag of the day or something funny for entertainment and then saturday i got behind the scenes a day in the life Excuse me. I feel like most people like to see businesses behind the scenes. Like my thing is you can love a brand, but it makes it better and personal when you know who's behind that brand. You get to see the before, the after, the beginning of the day to the end of the day. So Sunday is also like a reset self-care day. So that's basically how I like to plan out my content. But that's just a little bit of kind of what I got going on, y'all. See y'all in the next video.